Hello everybody, this is Cody, and <laughs> um, we're going to watch a lighting, we're going to watch a trailer. Um, I just discovered this today when I was looking at movie trailers and stuff on YouTube, like trying to search for new ones and stuff and looking at my list of trailers that I want to react to or whatever. And it showed a thumbnail of a girl with fire flames and stuff like, and it said Firestarter. And I was like, what? They're going to remake Firestarter? Uh, there was a movie in the eighties, maybe. I think it was the eighties called Firestarter with Drew Barrymore. Yeah, it would have been the 80s because, yeah. Right? Yeah. Anyways, I had Drew Barrymore when she was a kid and I remember renting it on VHS tape because when I was a kid, we used to go to the, the Blockbuster or whatever movie rental place and rent VHS tapes like every week on the weekends. And I remember renting that movie at some point and watching it. And I wasn't really a fan of it, to be honest, that movie. But maybe this remade version will be better. I don't know. Is that based off a Stephen King story or is it not? It has a Stephen King vibe to it, you know. I think it came out around the time of like Poltergeist and um, just those types of movies with like scary movies with the little kid and I don't know 80s <laughs> and they have to remake everything you know they gotta remake stuff make sequels to stuff or whatever I'm not a huge fan of remakes or sequels and things but I don't know I just was curious and I wanted to see what this trailer was like so here is Firestarter movie coming out this year I guess remake of oh I, I I'm assuming it's a remake it might not be but I'm assuming it's a remake of the older film from the 80s with Drew Barrymore as the little girl daddy what's going on sweetie something feels weird something's changing you remember the tools we took right pencil Desk, paper, shoes, your wheel. Everything okay, Charlie? It happened again. What happened? The bad thing. Aw, her name's Charlie. Was her name Charlie in the original Firestarter? I kind of get in deja vu. I love the name Charlie. I wanted to name M Charlie. That was the name I had picked out for a girl. But... Yeah, her dad didn't like it, so we didn't do it. But, oh, well. I don't plan on having any more kids, but if I do, maybe if I have a daughter, I might name her Charlie. It's cute. I don't know. I did like a... Th I, I don't know if she's a great great aunt or a third great aunt. Great aunt. Or is a grandma. Grandma. I think she's my third great grandma. Yeah, that's what it is. Third great grandma named Charlie. And her picture, she's like smiling and she looks really nice, you know. Usually those old pictures, they have this serious look on their face, you know, and they're real stiff. But she's like smiling and laughing in her pictures. I never met her, of course, but she just seems nice. I don't know. If you ever start to lose control, what do you do? It didn't work. She's not a robot, Annie. She's a little girl. With little girl emotions, which are wildly unpredictable. Charlie? She just has to shove it down and keep it hidden. Our responsibility is getting her ready. Our responsibility is to protect her. Charlie? If they catch her, they're going to put her in a cage. Charlie? They're going to run tests on her for the rest of her life. Get her ready for what? Like, why is she like that? I don't remember the original, like, I don't understand. 
and her dad is played by what's his face what's that guy's name Zach Efron is that what it is Zach Efron he's pretty cute yeah he's he's getting dad roles now Ooh, he's getting older he's getting the dad roles no longer high school musical anymore or whatever I'll never see her again Who catches me? Something's happened. I need it handled with discretion. And I need her back alive. Holy shit. Do you know what it means to be on the run? Bad men are after us. Really bad. I hate living like this. You're special. Oh. I am not special. I'm a monster. <laughs> well, that answers my question. It is a Stephen King story I want to help her you want to use her oh Charlie, don't be stupid it's red foreman <laughs> for that 70s show he's getting old looking where's mommy do you feel that let her go or it's gonna get a lot worse where's mommy tell me now she's the first of her kind a real life superhero. You need to understand how to use it. It can't be a reaction. It's gonna be a decision. <laughs> it's the only way that you can control it. She's becoming a young woman. I'm not going to jail. And someday soon, you're gonna change the world. She may be capable of a nuclear explosion. Run, Charlie! Really on your knees! Simply with the force of her mind. <laughs> the whole world's going to hell. Promise me that you'll never use your gifts to hurt people. Oh, you're bad people, I promise. Trust me, Charlie. You don't have to be afraid. Please, I can help you. Liar, liar. Hands on fire. <laughs> I don't want to hurt anyone. That feels kind of good. I kind of wish I had that power sometimes. If anybody gave me grief, I'd be like. <sighs> set you ablaze not really I know it'd be like hor it would be horrible horrible thing to have just want to be normal that that looked better than the original to me still not really something I'm super into kind of has a superhero y super villainy vibe to it like Marvel DC sort of thing to me more than like a horror movie like Stephen King's movies well he has a lot of sci-fi kind of stuff too um yeah I don't know it looked it looked decent <laughs> tell me what you thought about it in the comments and please like and subscribe I'll see you next Thursday next Thursday. I'll see you next Tuesday for another Trailer Tuesday. And I'll see you tomorrow for Request Wednesdays. Isn't it great? <laughs> Schedule. <laughs> Have a nice day.